2024. Haven't been done a video since the new year started. So welcome back to Soulful Eats with Lisa J. Guys, probably said, where's she been? Well, she's been working. She's been doing her thing. But we're back. And I'm going to show you how to do a pork shoulder butt in the crock pot. This is a set it and forget it meal. Quick for those weeknights when you're working, working moms, you can put this on before you leave to go to work. Guess what? You come home, whole house will be smelling great. Just all, and it's very simple. The only thing you need for this is your pork shoulder butt and a package of Lipton onion soup mix. Now, if you wish to add any other seasonings to this, be my guest, but I'm only gonna put my Lipton onion soup mix because it's got that oniony flavor. You don't want to put too much seasoning in it because guess what? It'll make it salty. So we're gonna start off by taking our pork shoulder butt that my husband purchased. That looks like it's a half a pig here, so we go we gonna take a while for this to cook. So this is probably gonna have to cook for about four hours. So we're gonna take it out of the package and we're gonna wash it off. As always, you have to wash off your meat. It's been in the package, it's been in the processing plant. So we're gonna wash it, put it in a crock pot, and then we'll throw it in. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. So we're going to rinse off our pork shoulder with some cold water. Make sure you rinse it off. And then I'm gonna take it and put it down into my crock pot, like that, fat side up. You don't want to cook the fat side down because that's juices from the meat from the fat are going to go back into the meat. And yes, I am going to wash my sink out. For those viewers that say, Lisa, you just washed that meat, Jay. I'm going to rinse it off now and we're going to bleach it down in a minute. And then we're going to add our Lipton onion soup mix to this. Sprinkle that all over your pork shoulder. That's gonna give it that oniony flavor. Like I said, if you want to put any other seasonings, you can. I'm not because I don't want my pork shoulder to be salty. And then I'm going to add. And then I'm going to add one cup of water. And you're going to put that around your pork shoulder. And that's what's going to make your juices and your gravy. And you might want to take a couple of forks and pick it up so that that can go all underneath there like that. Like that, okay. So get it underneath there. You don't want your rose to your pork shoulder to, to burn or scorch and then we're going to we're going to set our crock pot this is a very big piece of meat so we're going to cook this you can cook it eight hours on low or four hours on high so i'm going to do four hours got it set for four hours on high high and then we're gonna let it go and like i said this is a set it and forget it dinner come back we're gonna check on this probably in about an hour and a half midpoint two hours and we're gonna see what our pork shoulder looks like so stay tuned okay so we're gonna put our top onto our crock pot like i said come back in about two hours and we're gonna see the juicy goodness we got coming from our pork shoulder you can make uh pull pork with this you can slice it have it with gravy whatever you have but most people like to shred it it's tender and make um pull pull pork put barbecue sauce with it so two hours come back stick with me hang tight and we'll just see what it looks like okay we're back so my pork shoulder has been on for about three hours and 30 minutes um 
I'm gonna have to adjust the cooking time because this piece of meat is really, really big. It's bigger than the piece of meat that I normally buy. Um, so we're gonna have to let this cook probably about five to six hours because it's not going to be done all the way through. If you get a piece of meat that's this big, just if you put it in the crock pot, just know that you're gonna have to probably cook it about five hours, six hours for it to be done all the way through. So at this is the three hour mark, three hours and 30 minute mark, and we're gonna have to let it cook about another three, three and a half hours, four hours before it'll be fully done. So just stick with us, hang tight and we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like when it's completely done. Okay, we are back. So our pork shoulder has been cooking and since it was so big, we had to cook it for eight hours. I usually don't buy one that big, but my husband bought that one this time, so we don't blame him. Usually it takes about maybe three and a half to four hours to cook a normal one. So we're gonna take this out and it does have a bone in it and we are going to shred it up and we're going to make pulled pork sandwiches with this. So I'm gonna grab this like this. And it is really, really big. It's like having a pig in here. Hold on one second. If I grab it from the side. There we go. Holy cow, this thing is huge. See, it's falling apart. Okay. And that's what your pork shoulder should look like. It's done all the way through. And you basically just take your fork, because you got some here, and see how it's falling apart? And you pull it with your fork, and take some forks and just pull it apart. And you can eat it like this, or the gravy that you, the juices that you have down in the crock pot, you can make gravy with that. But I'm not gonna make any gravy tonight. I'm gonna take this, pull it apart, and put some barbecue sauce, and we're gonna have pulled pork sandwiches. So. This is our pork shoulder that we cooked in the crock pot. So I want you to try this. Try this recipe. If you like it, let me know. As always, like and subscribe. And keep watching my videos. And have a great evening. Thanks.